Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of my Film and Tree tutorial series. In this video series, I'm going to be teaching you all the basics you need to know to start building your own admin panels using Filament. So for those of you that don't know, Filament is a free and open source admin panel builder for Laravel. And it uses the tall stack, which is Tailwind, CSS, Alpine JS, Laravel, and Livewire. And it has a bunch of free uh, packages and, you know, libraries around it, which you can add and customize. Again, it's very easy to use. And it's free, which is very nice compared to Laravel Nova or uh, Laravel Backpack. So let's get started, guys. We are going to be using Filament version 3. So make sure uh, at the top you have the version at version 3. I also have the link in the description. So you can just copy that and open it up. Or just search on Google Filament Admin Panel and, you know, open this page. Now you do need to make sure you're using PHP 8.1 and you have a Laravel 10 or above project. So if you have an older Laravel project, Laravel 8 or 9, make sure you upgrade it to Laravel 10 first. And again, you also need to use a live version three. Now, as of now, live version three is in beta. So we need to do one step to, to do the installation. But once live version three is out officially, stable release, uh, you can kind of skip the step. So let's start, start off by first installing Filament, guys. So go into documentation, scroll down until you get to this installation part. And for the first step, this is only for now, guys. In the next coming months, maybe two, three months from now, uh, you actually won't need to do this. So it will be probably removed from the documentation. So if you don't see it, just skip the step. But you need to set minimum stability to dev on your project. So right now I have a fresh Laravel 10 project that I just installed a few minutes ago over here. And I'm going to go ahead and I already have the composer.json file open, but at the left, open up composer.json. And if you scroll all the way down, you should see a section called minimum stability. And by default, it's going to be stable. I think it started from Laravel 10. Go ahead and change this from stable to dev and save it. And once you have done that, and again, uh, I emphasize this only for now. If library version 3 stable is out, you don't need to do this. Then go ahead and copy the second command, which is going to be composer require. And this will add filament as a dependency to your project. I'm, I already have it copied. Open up your terminal and paste that in and run it so composer will go ahead and add the filament as a dependency among you know all its other dependencies it will also go ahead and install livewire for you if you already don't have it installed so very nice and the next step this is actually the part which is going to be installing filament and adding all the you know the dashboard panel is you need to go ahead and copy this php art send filament install paste that in in your terminal and hit enter and basically filament will go ahead and you know add all these you know javascript files and you know the service provider all that stuff afterwards it's going to ask you to start it on github i already have it start so i'm not going to be doing that and by doing that basically you're done with the installation guys so that's the very basics of it and filament will go ahead and add a new page for you so if you open up your application go ahead and add slash admin okay so this is the route i'm in by the way slash admin so hit enter and you should get a nice looking login page. Now, in order to be able to log in, you also need to have a database. So before we actually go ahead and do that, we need to make sure our database is set up. Okay. So uh, in order to do that, guys, I'm going to go ahead, open up my .env file, go ahead and do that on your project. And if you scroll down, make sure you have set up your database connection. So by default, uh, it has, it's going to be your project name. I'm going to be using that. And because I'm on local development, I'm going to be using the root. And in order, we need to run our migration. So I'm going to go ahead and run the migration. Make sure you have set this up correctly so it can connect to your database. I'm just going to use a default. And I'm going to say PHP artisan migrate. Go ahead and run this. Now it's asking me to create the database. I do like to do that actually, yes. And after that, you should be able to actually run the migration. And once you have set up that, guys, you're technically able to go ahead and log into your admin panel. Now, by default, we, go, we need to have a user so Filament has a command to actually create your users. It's kind of a convenient method. You can go ahead and manually add that, but to make it a bit easier, I'm going to go ahead and copy this command. If you scroll down, there is a section called create a user, and I'm going to go copy it. This will create an admin account for us for convenience. So I'm going to open up the terminal again, paste that command in, hit enter. And you it will ask you to give a name for your admin account. I'm going to say admin. An email, uh, I'm going to say admin at youtube.com. 
and then it's going to ask you for a password. I'm just going to give it a simple one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's it. So it will go ahead and create the admin account for you. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the email. Now that if we go back to our application, again, add slash admin to go ahead and see the admin section and then enter the email and the password you just created for your user. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, you can also use the remember me. Click sign in. And if you have done everything correct so far, you have added your database, you have migrated it and you created the user, you should see a nice looking admin panel by default. Now, there won't be anything here right now. You can only log in and log out. Uh, we have a nice looking team here. You can maybe go dark mode or light mode, which is very nice. And you also have the ability to log out. And that's pretty much it. So we really can't do anything as of now. So in the upcoming episodes, we will learn how to do basically create different tabs, add relationships, customize this dashboard panel, add widgets, and a bunch more. So it's going to be exciting, guys. I'm a big fan of Filament. And that's it, guys. So hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. And as always, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel so you get notified of the latest videos. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.